Hello friends, in this screencast we are going to talk about the concept of homemade leverage and the first thing that we want to answer is what is the meaning of homemade leverage. Um, let us complete this sentence. Homemade leverage means substituting personal leverage, personal leverage for corporate leverage. So in place of this question mark we write corporate leverage. Now we are going to see how to apply this concept to a set of data. So for that purpose we have two firms here. Firm U is unlevered and firm L is a levered firm. The entire value of, an, of the unlevered firm is invested in its stock $300,000 and the value of the levered firm is split half and half between stock and debt. So $150,000 in stock and another $150,000 in debt so that the debt to equity ratio of the levered firm is 1. Since this levered firm is having some amount of its value in debt, they are borrowing $150,000 so they would have to pay uh, some interest on this amount of borrowing and the rate of interest given to us is 5% per annum and that is also over cost of debt RD. Other than that both of both these firms firm U and firm L are similar in the sense that both of them make the same amount of money their EBIT is $50,000. For uh, computational ease we are going to ignore taxes at the moment and we are also going to assume that the dividend payout ratio of both these firms is 100%. Therefore, whatever is earned by these firms is available for distribution to the stockholders. Now let's answer a couple of questions. The first one is what would be your return if you have $15,000 invested in firm L at the moment. So if we want to find out uh, how much return we are generating for ourselves we need to answer a few questions and the first one is how much money does firm L have for distributing to its shareholders. Now since we have assumed the dividend payout ratio to be 100% that means all that the firm earns that is $50,000 in EBIT is available for distribution. But when we are thinking in terms of a levered firm, firm L here we must not forget that they have some amount of borrowings in their capital structure, $150,000 in debt. So that means they are going to have to pay some interest on this amount at the rate of 5%. So from the amount firm L is earning for itself $50,000, it will have to subtract the interest first and then whatever remains will be available for distribution to the stockholders. So let us do that. Let us write the amount of EBIT here, $50,000 and from this $50,000 let us subtract the interest that firm L will have to pay on its debt. That is 5% of the amount of money borrowed which was $150,000. So that is going to give us $42,500. You are entitled to get that will depend on what is your proportional ownership in the company. How much money you have invested in the company? Fifteen thousand dollars. And what is the value of the stock of the levered firm, which is one hundred and fifty thousand dollars? That means you own ten percent of the stock of company L. So your dollar return would be the 10% of this amount. So let's just write it here. 10% of $42,500 and so therefore the amount of money you make from firm L is $4,250. So that is your dollar return. And if we want to find out the percentage return, the task is really simple. For finding out the percentage return, you simply divide the amount of money you make that is $4,250 by the amount of money you invested in the company. You invested $15,000 in the company and that should give you the percentage return 28.33%. Now let's get to uh, applying the concept of homemade leverage. 
for that we have this second issue here which says uh, suppose you want to now move over to firm U which is an unlevered firm but uh, whilst you want to move there you still want to enjoy the benefit of leverage also you don't want to sacrifice the return that you were making earlier you were making 28.33 percent return so the question is how can we accomplish that and the answer is simple we can accomplish that by using the concept of homemade leverage which means by mimicking the debt to equity ratio of the firm that we are quitting so we are quitting firm l in which we were enjoying a debt to equity ratio uh, of one now we are moving over to firm u which is unlevered so it doesn't have any leverage so what you can do is you can employ your personal leverage and that personal leverage is the homemade leverage so then the question is how much personal leverage should be employed now you are quitting a firm which had a debt to equity ratio of one so therefore you create a personal debt to equity for yourself of one so your personal debt to equity ratio here should be one so that half of your uh, total amount of money should be your own and half should be borrowed let's see how we can do that by taking a number of sequential steps so the first step is going to be sell your holdings in firm l and how much money are you going to get when you sell your holdings in firm l and why are you selling your holdings in firm l anyway because you are quitting firm l and moving over to firm u so therefore you disinvest in firm l you had invested fifteen thousand dollars in firm l so you sell all your shares in firm l and that are going to give you fifteen thousand dollars now if you want to create a debt to equity ratio of one you will have to go ahead and borrow some amount of money now look at this amount this fifteen thousand dollars belongs to you you got this by selling your own shares in firm l so this amount here is your personal equity and if you want to create a personal debt to equity ratio of one you should go ahead and borrow another set of fifteen thousand dollars and the rate of interest we know already at five percent rate of interest so now what is the total amount of money that you are going to have you have fifteen thousand dollars of your own and you have fifteen thousand dollars borrowed so you have thirty thousand dollars in total now with these thirty thousand dollars you go ahead and buy stock in firm u so if you invest to the tune of thirty thousand dollars in firm u what is going to be your proportional ownership in firm u let us look at the value of stock in firm u the value of stock in firm u is three hundred thousand dollars and your investment in firm u is thirty thousand dollars so your proportional investment therefore is again the same 10% 30,000 divided by 300,000 gives you the same proportional ownership in firm U as well now let us see what amount of return you make on this proportional um, investment in firm U so let's find out the dollar return um, firm U also is similar to firm L in terms of its EBIT EBIT for both firms was fifty thousand dollars so firm U is now going to have the entire set of fifty thousand dollars available for being distributed to the stockholders remember for firm L from EBIT we had to take out the interest but for an unlevered firm firm U there is no there's going to be no interest liability because simply they had to, they don't have any debt so uh, your dollar return is going to be simply ten percent that is your proportional ownership in firm U of the amount that firm U has available for distribution which is fifty thousand dollars so that means your dollar return would be five thousand dollars but at the same time you should not forget that uh, when you bought the shares in firm U you financed your purchase partly from equity this one was your own money and partly from debt so you borrowed fifteen thousand dollars at five percent so there is going to be some interest accrued on this fifteen thousand dollars which you will have to pay so on fifteen thousand dollars that you borrowed you pay out an interest of at the rate of five percent so five percent of uh, um, fifteen thousand dollars that is going to give you seven hundred and fifty dollars so your net return is simply five thousand minus seven hundred and fifty and that should give you 
$4,250. Observe that this $4,250 is the same amount of money as you made with firm L4,250. Now we want to also find out the percentage return of this strategy. It is simply equal to the amount of money you make which is 4250 divided by the amount of money you invested in the company. What is the amount of your investment? What is the amount of money that came from your pocket? $15,000 came from your pocket and the next 15000 you had gone ahead and borrowed. So your personal investment was $15,000. So if you do that, you are going to again find 28.33%, which is the same percentage of return as you had earned with firm 